Hey everybody, look what I got in the mail yesterday. Razor Freestyle Scooter. And as you can see right on the box, it was uh, one of the Blockbuster exclusives. There was uh, eight of them for the N64. As you can see, I got this sealed. And for a, a good price too. $49.04. That's uh, cheaper than uh, what they originally went for. Uh, $49.99 back in 96 through 2002. So, getting this for cheaper in 2019, it's a very good deal, and just for inflation, that's, that's a really good deal, and uh, being sealed. Right, let's check out the seal real quick, check out the size, it looks like this is a uh, U seal, see how it goes along. Now I did get uh, these uh, a lot of these N64 games new uh, back when they came out, but I, I'm not uh, sure on how they were sealed. I heard there's a, a lot of different ways they sealed them for them, so they're uh, not quite a standard. But uh, this looks like it uh, goes around in a U shape. So if anyone knows if this is a legitimate seal, uh, which I was uh, talking to the guy who was selling it, I I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But uh, Anyway, yeah, I did buy a lot of these games brand new, but I wasn't paying attention to the seal, so I wouldn't know if it, this is uh, how they do it for this game. So anyway. Real quick, uh, here's the eight exclusive Blockbuster games that were for the N64. Got uh, Beast Wars, Trans Metals. Uh, Clay Fighters, uh, Sculptor's Cut, not the 63 and a third, Sculptor's Cut. Now that one's the most expensive game for the uh, system at the moment. Uh, there's International Track and Field uh, 2000, there's Die Katana, uh, Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, Stunt Racer, and uh, NFL Blitz uh, Special Edition. That, one, that one's also probably the, ne the next cheaper one uh, out of the Blockbuster exclusives. I might get that one next, well not uh, out of the exclusives, not out the next game I'm going to get. Because I finally got uh, Banjo-Kazooie on its way, uh, I've been saying that ever since uh, they announced Banjo-Kazooie being released for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And yes, the prices did go up on the game, it used to be uh, $15 to $20 loose, now it's about $20 to $25 loose. So I wanted to get that before it goes even higher and into the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Now, as I was saying, uh, Originally, I was going to get uh, Banjo-Kazooie first, I was, but of course, uh, eBay always sends me these, uh, tells me when they reduce the price when there's deals going on. Like uh, right here, it was originally $54.99. Uh, I had in my uh, watch list, then they told me he reduced down to $45.99. That's when I jumped on it. Originally, in his uh, description of the game, he says, uh, Each game I sell has been personally tested by me. So you know they work great, but uh, how can you do that with a sealed game? Now, I sent him an email, I'll get to that in a second, but uh, right here. Let's see if I got all that in frame. Or I'll just show you the uh, image I'll just edit it in. Anyway, he uh, changed that out uh, after I sent him that uh, email. It says, this sale is for the Razor Freestyle scooter for the N64. It comes new and still sealed box is pretty crushed, but the wrapping is not torn in any major way. This is one of the best games for the N64. Great for the kids. You should have a lot of fun with this one. Buy it now before you miss out. Oh yeah, definitely. In a couple of years, people will be saying how much they love this game and how rare. That's, that's true. It's a blockbuster exclusive. It is and all that kind of garbage. So buy it now before that happens. Oh yeah, that's what I did. Now around here is uh, where you said that part. Uh, somewhere around here and you say that he tested every the game but of course it's sealed you can't test it please purchase with confidence all pictures are of the actual item no surprises see my other listings for more great items thank you for looking so then I uh, asked him about that discrepancy right there here's what I said hey just wondering in the description it says each game I sell has been personally tested by me how can you do that with a sealed game did you open it up, play it, and then re reseal it? Thanks in advance. So anyway, I sent that, but uh, after 24 hours of not getting uh, a reply from him, I went to go and just buy it now. Uh, 
Let's see. And then this popped up. The seller isn't accepting bids or offer offers from you. I was wondering what the fuck was going on. Then I tried to email him again. I was uh, we're sorry we couldn't find an answer for you. Unfortunately, the seller is not able to respond to your questions. We suggest reviewing the item again to see if uh, your answer is in the seller's listing. So I was wondering what the fuck is going on here. I can't uh, buy it. I can't uh, contact him. Contact him through the, uh, the item anyway. And then I finally figured out that I can contact him uh, through uh, just his, uh, through his, uh, whatever it's called, his channel. We'll just call it his channel, his, uh, that through it, through his username, as opposed to contact him through the item that you wanted to buy. And, and here's what I said the second time. Hey, I asked you a question on the Razor Freestyle scooter for the N64 after not getting a response after 24 hours. A lot of big time. Oh, a lot, a lot of times bigger sellers don't ever respond, don't have the time or whatever. I went to go buy it anyway, but once I went to go buy it, it said the seller isn't accepting bids or offers for, from you. So I don't know if you tried to write me back and accidentally hit the block button, or did it, ent or did you intentionally block me? Because that was a legitimate question. As you can see, I've been on eBay for 16 years and have 100% feedback, positive feedback. So, I'm no troll or whatever. Well, anyway, if it was an accident, unblock me so I can buy it. Otherwise, I'll just buy from someone else. Thanks in advance. Uh, here's what he said. I receive a lot of smart aleck questions. I assume this was one. Sorry if it was not. The listing has been updated. If you want to purchase, you may. Now, that's uh, right here. With, uh, what's going on with the big, uh, you, uh, big uh, social media companies and all this uh, censorship and blocking bullshit. You see how this causes so much of a fucking problems having a block button and all that bullshit they should just get rid of the block button as you can see uh, my uh, I was legitimate on uh, buying this as you can see I bought it on obviously causing so many fucking problems I originally was gonna do a video have one of ask one of you to send him a message until I found out I could message him I also had a problem with this uh, censorship bullshit when I was doing the uh, live uh, streams well with the gun channels so uh, the Google Hangouts, where you have multiple people on a, a live stream, and one person couldn't get in because another person blocked him, and it caused a whole bunch of fucking problems. All right, now before we open this up, I want to get a good look at it before uh, we open it up, because I only got one shot at this. Take a good look at the seams, get a close up. Looks like it's, as you can see, it was crushed a little bit, but uh, I don't mind that. All right, looks like the seam starts here. Goes around. Got to document all this. Goes all the way here. Yeah, kids. Uh, games are meant to be played. I don't care about the uh, value. I want to play them. So that's why I'm gonna open it up. All right. Blockbuster exclusive. Now I got an idea for uh, when I open up these uh, sealed games, I leave the saran wrap so I know it, I once had it sealed. Uh, I do that for my, because uh, some of my Jaguar games I got uh, sealed uh, back in 2008-9. Uh, I didn't leave them on except for the last one, so that indicate I got them brand new. Alright, here we go. Alright, looking good right here. This is authentic because it has the... Uh, Serial number or model numbers or letters, if you will. Both sides. So looking good so far. Oh, what the hell is this? Alright, this is uh, something new, but then again, this is uh, a Blockbuster exclusive, so they could be packaged differently. Alright. The game itself. A little baggy. Alright, we got the square there. Well, look, look how good this looks. We got the factory stamp looking real good here. Brand new N64 game in uh, 2019. Label looks good. Alright, nothing blurry. Special look at the contrast on the uh, ESRB rating. That looks real good. FQ, gotta look for that when we open it up. 
All right, let's open this up uh, right now, make sure it's authentic. I got a brand new uh, uh, screwdriver because the other one wasn't good enough. This this kept slipping out the uh, bit screw. This one has the uh, magnet so we don't uh, drop it, it doesn't drop out. And that one's the big one, we need a smaller one. Oh yeah, this is much better than uh, trying to keep the thing inside. All right, looking real good. All right, we got some of the uh, serial numbers there, right on the uh, the RF shielding. Uh, here we go. This this is definitely authentic. We got the uh, let's turn it on over. FQ. All right, that's accurate. Yep. We got the uh, Nintendo copyright. That's good. And then we got the paint splotch there. Look at those brand new pins right there. Nice and shiny. Now what I want to know is if those uh, pins are made of gold, actual gold, so they don't rust on you. Because I hear people say don't blow on it, but I've checked uh, NES games that I had for years that, that they've been blown on. And they still look very good, so I'm wondering if it's uh, made of gold so they don't rust. Alright, now let's check out what else is in the box. Alright, now let's see what else is in the box. Alright, looks like it uh, doesn't have the loose tray, it has the uh, compartment inside. We got the manual, it's bent a bit, because uh, of course somebody bent the box. Let's see if there's anything special from the uh, being Blockbuster. No, it just looks like the game in the manual, nothing uh, else than that. Yeah, a little bent, but uh, whatever. wonder whose fat ass sat on this fucking box. Of course, uh, gotta go through the manual. Now, oh, we do have something else. We got the... Uh, in between the manual, got the uh, what the hell's it called? Consumer information. All right, we got all the uh, epilepsy in all the different languages. We got uh, let's see, French, Spanish, all that. All right, back again to the uh, manual. Definitely want to look at the uh, how to play right here. Never played this one before. Uh, never rented it. If it's uh, it's supposed to be like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. If any, if it's anything like that, it'll be good. And not the menus during the gameplay. Uh, let's see. On ground break with C. Jump and uh, release the C button. Well, which one? Audible tricks plus control pit. All right, I'll figure it out later. Uh, this is taking too long. Can just uh, pause that there to see uh, how to play. I got the uh, circuits. Practice multiplayer versus settings options. Sound music records. Oh, the uh, the HUD. Pause screen, the trick list, result screen, the end level summary screen, controller pack saving. Sky Fortress. And we got the credits right there. Not a thick manual, but at least it's in color. Unlike today, you won't even get a manual, except for the uh, few uh, limited run games, the uh, independent games that 
and develop uh, independent developers that make them. And that's it. Let's give this uh, game a try.